brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in that was a little bit weird did anybody else see that little visual glitch we're starting out today here in caucasia a little 35 person free for all battle now we are starting down south i'm um, still liking the spot though so maybe be some good room to expand over in the east and so far people are moving away from us rather than moving closer to us so that is a big plus plus. and we'll just kind of have to see what we can do from here now we'll zoom out to make sure that nobody came near us and nobody did so we're in a really good spot, ah, except for that WWW guy came in at the end, but it's okay. We still have a good opportunity to grab a lot of land. This guy is growing a little bit slowly. He'll probably explode here in a minute. And then this guy's already kind of expended all of his troops just grabbing the land area already has. So what is our goal in this? Well, I obviously want to push as far into WWW as possible. And honestly, I probably want to go to the east, just east and west, I think at this point. I feel like that's my best bet to win. I'm not sure about going up north. I don't really see yeah i don't really need to touch borders with that guy up there so we'll just keep an eye on our borders of going east and west we do have the crown right now which is good news we need to keep expanding and not talk so much and just keep missing our expansions but this is a good opportunity to go down south and uh, that's really good right there there we go and there we go so again want to push over into the east not really seeing the opportunity to do so that's not we don't touch that borders with that guy there we go that's what we needed just a little bit of room to expand this is gonna be good that's really great that's a huge bot for us to get and we'll push into this one as well and just use our troops wisely we don't need to rush anything this ww player is not rushing either so we don't need to kind of freak him out and both both of us kind of waste our troops he's wanting a truce i will accept a truce with him Let's keep going into rita and riley down here and then lola is gonna be a good one for us to get as well if we can encapsulate lola then we can make sure to get becca and we'll go ahead and get becca right now and finish up Rita over there and then just keep pushing around this guy if he's gonna let me that's perfectly fine he is saving up his troops to a dangerous level which is a little bit concerning but he's just expended them a little bit so not sure if he's doing a challenge or something but we will take advantage of the free land where we can find it and grab this and uh, I don't I just want to make sure I'm not attacking this person who has the name of backstabber a little bit scary there but we are in second place who is in first the United States over there got very big got a little bit of extra land right there and now we just kind of wait to see what happens next. We could go into WWW. If these two start fighting, that'd actually be pretty good for us. So we do need to keep up our troops. So let's try and get a truce with uh, the backstabber. Uh, I hate to imagine that he's probably going to backstab us. Now this guy fighting over here is really good. Uh, I think we're going to go into this player. Let's just go ahead and do it now. Let's go ahead and risk it a little bit. He's getting awfully big and I don't like how big he's getting. Yeah, this green player sees it as well. So I'm going to give you a thumbs up and say yep let's do that let that boat land and him kind of cause some damage allowing us to build up some more troops yeah let him do a lot of the heavy lifting i think he's going to get kicked off here even if he doesn't we still get a lot of this land and that's exactly what happens be tempted is also joining in on this so we've got some free land to grab into and we don't touch borders with anybody new so things are looking up for us as now we go we are in third place so the united states has expanded so rapidly look at him grow and then new zealand right next to him is also very big so what is our next target Honestly, the Marsha Republic is pretty tempting uh, just because there's a lot of weakness above us, but I'd like to get up to my full interest before doing that. I hate to get caught off guard by then touching borders with this guy and get ganged up on, especially when we don't have a truce with a player called Backstabber over here. That is a little bit concerning, so we'll just continuously build up our troops. He wants me to go into this player over here. It would be a decent move, but honestly, I'm still pretty gung-ho on attacking him right here, so we'll just continuously save up. And I'd like to grab all of this land before having to push eastwards. This guy full set. Let's grab all of his land. Nobody has noticed. Oh, that's great for us. That's huge. As we grab a ton of land, we do get the crown out of that. And we are at full interest. So even though Backstabber isn't attacking uh, or has a truce with us, I'm still going to attack Marsha Republic. Reason for this is honestly, again, just like we talked about, oh, he full sends right away. That's absolutely huge for us. Gets us on the board a little bit quicker. And now we can grab a ton of land. Let's try and get a truce with this guy right here. He might not want it, and if he doesn't, then we'll go into him and fight that battle, as he's not necessarily giving us a truce, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, we have still not been attacked by Backstabber, who does not want a truce, so we'll just continue to save up, maximize our advantage here, and we might push into this guy. The reason being is these guys are not the biggest, strongest players, and I'm just honestly a little bit concerned with how big he's getting. So let's push into him while he's pushing into Mexico, kind of backstab him, if you will. And start talking fighting him down now we are getting voted into by the uh be tempted player which is an interesting scenario for sure so let's go ahead and push into him just kind of warn him a little bit about what's going to come next he's trying to boat down here thinking that we're going to get teamed up on he does full send into us so 
that was a little bit unfortunate we missed out on a lot of land over here but we do get a bunch of it back here so let's try and uh, truce with this void player backstabber full sin so we get even more land this guy doesn't get any of it so that's huge for us let's try and truce with this guy so we have a truce here and hopefully here i think he would truce with us just based off his borders with the united states and we don't really need to go into him just based off his borders so let's continuously keep pushing through this guy we will give you a truce and there's a full sin from him oh my goodness full sins galore as we get a lot more land and that really solidifies our position in first place now we touch borders with three players to be concerned about this Ruthanian Empire guy is a good target for us, but again, I want to build up to full interest, especially because these two are already fighting. My goal here is that these two are going to fight, and honestly, I don't want to miss out on that, So, but I do think it's best to push through this player, get somebody else off my border really quickly, and kind of work through this. I'm going to give him the broken heart like I have to. I'm sorry. I understand your frustration with me. We are getting attacked uh, by this player. He did send a lot of players in trying to stop our attack. And we do have a little bit of extra troops, so let's go into this and this and try and wrap up all of this in one fell swoop when we timed that really well. Got our full send room right as he full sent, so there we go. And now we've faced borders with two players who are pretty strong, but we do have about 22 million troops. So we're in an advantage of advantageous situation where we can build up our troops. And we are getting attacked by this player, so he will probably go first as player 63 has also betrayed us, but unfortunately for him, he has been attacked in the back so let's push this guy off our land so he has to boat back in and uh let's offer him a truce oh this guy left let's grab his land oh we don't have a boat over there no oh catastrophic misplay but that's not that bad we still have a lot of land to get through and these two are fighting over here so actually i'm going to push this guy off uh so i only have to fight one player at a time that's my strategy with this so let's go ahead and knock him off and then kind of ruin his time of getting back into me so we take off that and we just need to boat back into him as he full sends boat but it won't do anything because of just how little troops he had at the end so let's go ahead and finish off this guy and then we'll start working on the united states when we get up back up to our full troop potential so mexico where's mexico hello i'm gonna give you a truce a little kissy face it'll let you live right there and then we'll start working down the united states slowly but surely willing him down at this point the game is in our control but we want to make sure to not overexpose ourselves now we do have a good amount of troops advantage so i don't mind pushing through this with a little bit heavier he is a counter attacking uh with a lot of his troops so he's trying to egg me out into doing something a little bit foolish like this and utilizing too many troops so we'll be patient with this and just slowly but surely knock him down we're going to keep doing these attacks just to make sure that number one he keeps attacking us and then number two that he might full send us a little bit earlier and we can move on to the next game. So he's down to 4 million troops. We've got 17 million. There's 2 million. So yeah, his counterattacks are doing less and less and less. And now we can just continuously attack into him and finish him off there. We will leave New Zealand as well after we grab Sparta. I think that will get us enough to 99%. But GG's to all involved and onto. Is that not enough? Got 99. Oh, it's because this guy's attacked. Don't do that. Don't do that. We gotta wait for this attack to finish. Ah, oh, come on, Void. Finish him off there. The game won't end if somebody's attacking. And <laughs> GG's and on to the next one. All right, let's finish off the day with a little mountain action, a game mode we haven't done in a while. There are 17 players in this. And one thing I really like about these non-geographical maps is that they're always a little bit less populated, which means everybody's in it. And it makes for a lot more interesting kind of diplomacy gameplay. So. We're placing our flag down right there. That's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, let's see if we got off our spot move. Yes, okay. I was about to say, it was a little bit unfortunate that this guy came in at the last second as I wanted access to all of this. Now, we still have an opportunity to go down south as well. So my goal is really going to be pushing north and south. That's where I'm going to be looking at the most. Now, we'll kind of sandwich us in between these two players. but So we might adjust that on the fly. But for right now, all we need to focus on is hitting our marks and growing to our maximum potential. We do have a little bit of room to grow as team is utilizing a lot of their troops early so he's gonna be in a tough situation in terms of kind of his expansion we're going to quickly outpace him as we do hit our infinite growth so now we're going to continue to keep going and as soon as this starts to run out we're going to fill it up again and just keep doing that until we run out of room so we do have some room to grow we are able to cut up north and maybe even cut off this uh cc roxy player above uh, below us and that's gonna be our goal so for right now let's just kind of naturally expand in whatever way is best for us and then we'll kind of reevaluate from there as we are hitting some good marks let's go ahead and decrease that attack a little bit and start to look there's a good one that's good that's great oh, give me that thank goodness 
Okay, let's go up here as well and see what we can do. Now, we are getting a little bit outmaneuvered by this team player, and that's kind of by our design. He's attacking a little bit more um, objectively. We're attacking more opportunistically, so that's something to be expected as we are now cutting him off down south, and he's starting to realize that and panicking, so let's keep going up over here. Let's go into this Han bot. I know that one is a little bit more strategic than anything else, but we can cut off him from down going over here, and now he has to boat anywhere so he's a little bit in a stuck position that's great for us let's go ahead and finish off this as he has to boat over there that's okay for us as he does get a border with another player and that's wonderful for us so now we can just save up our troops and then start to bully him that's gonna be my plan we definitely will take a truce with you and you these two seem to be on a team even though this is a free for all but that is okay so now let's just go ahead and do a little bit of a trickery and attack this guy He's going to have he's going to be on our borders the entire game. So let's try and knock him off a little bit early, grab some of this land and hopefully be able to recuperate before this this player is able to react. And so far, that plan worked out pretty well for us as now this guy is in a tough situation as he's not going to be in a position to win the game. So now we can afford to save up our troops and kind of decide what we're going to do next. Now, the dangerous thing about this is we could have gone south and done the same thing to the crown before that kind of ran out. The reason I didn't is this guy would still be strong and on our borders and only have us to attack so i felt like he was the better target so let's save up to our maximum potential and then we'll finish off team and then we will have the crown ourselves and be able to kind of make our next move now this player over here is <laughs> bullying game but uh, cc over there is able to get most of the rewards for that so he put in all the effort and he's gonna lose a lot of that land because this player's got uh two million if i was peru i'd be boating up right now he's getting into this island but i would want to be on the mainland over there just in case a full send does happen, you still have the opportunity to grab some of that land. So we are sending about 4 million troops. We want to get to red interest, and then we'll start attacking team over there. As Ninja has full send, so that's going to strengthen Lionel Messi, allow him to expand. I will take a truce with you. Hopefully you are interested in going over there instead of bothering us, as we are in third place, but we're pretty far behind. I think once we grab this land, things will change for us, but that's if we can hold it. That's going to be dependent on these two not attacking us when we make that move. As now we hit red interest, so as soon as we get to 1%, or actually just right now, let's start whittling this guy down we don't need to do big attacks by any means we just need to get him down so we'll just keep doing this on the half mark when it fills up there's the full send that's what we were waiting for we grab all of this land we have relative strength comparison wise as oh my goodness can we get over there we do have the crown this player hasn't noticed yet this is oh gosh okay that's a little bit unfortunate as now he's over there he's got the crown and uh we're faced with a tough situation of what to do next I like having this guy as a border between me and him. I could take him out, but honestly, I think my next play is going down south. So let's just build up our troops and just kind of be patient and wait to see. Now, if this player starts in Peru start to fight, then I am going to boat, boat over there and kind of do what I can. So this is a dangerous situation. This is going to be a hard one to play out. I don't really know what the best move is. These two are definitely going to fight. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we could betray this guy, but I don't really want to. I feel like I'm going to need him. Although, if we start attacking over here, the likelihood of he, this player attacking me is going to be pretty strong. So, let's just keep saving up. I'm not sure what the white flag means in this scenario. He's looking for truces and pieces. Let's go ahead and knock this out and make sure that that doesn't go through. Terrible way to end this game. Uh, let's see if... Uh, do you want to go in on this? What do you think? What do you think, Summit? He's probably in a battle down there. It's a little bit unfortunate we can't join in on that as this player is now fighting somebody else i think he's fighting this territorial andy so i think now is our best opportunity let's start pushing through this player it's going to be a long hard battle to get him out of here but i think we'll have the time unless this player starts to boat over into me so let's just keep up this fight as the crown doesn't share oh goodness okay he full sins oh my goodness i was about to say i'm screwed with this player uh, full sending as these two are clearly teaming but this guy full sent as well so now we grab most of the land and the crown back and now we have the troops to support it so it's now kind of about what do we do next and what do we do next is probably attack the stronger player we'll see if peru wants a truce with us he's gonna be fighting down with lionel messi allowing us to take out a strong player up here and uh let's in fact be a little trickery grab some more land for ourselves down here grab as much of this as we can and then see what we can do i think we have enough strength to protect ourselves from this player as this guy is getting fought off and territorial andy is also getting attacked so this does seem like a good move to have boated down here fight this off there we go i was about to say don't want to get kicked off in this pivotal moment that worked out really well for us because now we have the crown and we got a little bit of extra land 
And now we can kind of be patient over here. Peru starts to go in the line. Let's go ahead and take out this player. We have about double his troops. We'll let Peru kind of worry about fighting this player down there, slowing him down. Hopefully Peru doesn't realize what we're doing up here. I, if I was the CC player, I'd be signaling Peru, please attack this uh, Corgi Circus guy. But so far, it's so good as he is counterattacking us. Now, we can expect a likely full send in this scenario. So I'm trying to get through into some more open land. When you're in this kind of narrow gap right here, if somebody full sends you, there's just such a high amount of troops and a compressed amount of land that the full send doesn't do more damage. It just takes longer to go through. So as you can see, this is going to take a long time to go through as to what it would regularly be as Peru hasn't realized that he's full sent and we're grabbing all of the land that's huge for us as we have gotten all of it Peru still hasn't noticed he's locked in a battle with Lionel Messi down below and doesn't realize that we have just single-handedly won the game he finally realizes but it's way too late as now we have to fight Lionel Messi and Peru Lionel Messi is attacking us Peru is not so we'll go ahead and uh, oh this guy full sent so we'll grab all of this land over here and see what we can do to peace out. Peru has been a boy, even though he may not have realized it. And we don't necessarily need to fight him as he's got so little troops compared to us that we can just kind of look to peace out from here. I can't believe I boated here and the boat starts from up there. That's insane. So Peru's not gonna be as strong as us. So we'll look to peace out from here and we'll actually cancel the first boat. That was that one, perfect. This is the, this boat's lands. Yep, we're gonna give you a heart. And a little kissy face and we'll look to peace out from here so ggs to all involved and as we wrap things up here i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching especially if you've made this far in the video if you have made this far in the video hey give it a thumbs up really helps out a lot if you're new around here what's going on peru peru that was not the play brother that was not the play so let's go ahead and wipe out peru i suppose just kidding on that outro Peru had different plans, and now we need to teach him a lesson. <laughs> so we'll just constantly keep knocking down Peru as we do hit a little bit of a lag spike, but it doesn't matter too much here, as we will just constantly keep knocking him back. This boating strategy, while it does look like it gets a lot of land, because it's, again, in a very compressed area, doesn't do a lot. And you actually waste troops by doing it. By sending troops out on the water, you do take attrition. So it's best not to do that in these positions. The only time boating is a really good strategy is let's say there's a big player up here that you don't want to touch and you want to kind of keep whittling down a player that you are attacking boating into the him will kind of delay that as now we peru does full send and he doesn't take the truce i bet he's wishing for it now as now we wrap things up here grabbing all of the land for ourselves and hopefully we don't need this island for 99 percent i don't think we will and there we go so ggs to all involved and like i said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one